the relationship between speed, wavelength, and frequency. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to clarify the relationship between speed, wavelength, and frequency, v equals f lambda, solve problems involving speed, wavelength, and frequency. In a game of duck shooting in a fun fair, you can see that the ducks are moving in a constant speed. If the distance between two ducks is L and the number of ducks passing X per second is N, then the speed of the ducks can be calculated. If you calculate the number of ducks N passing X multiplied with the distance L, then the speed of the ducks is V equals N times L. If the ducks represent the waves, the number of ducks passing through X every second represents the frequency of the waves, the distance between two ducks L represents the wavelength of the waves, then can you calculate the speed of the waves? Observe the dipper producing plane waves that propagate to the right with the speed v. From the displacement against distance graph, the distance traveled by the wave, the amplitude a of the wave and its wavelength lambda can be determined. From the displacement against time graph, the time traveled by the wave and its period t can be determined. Speed can be calculated by dividing distance by time. For one complete oscillation, the distance traveled is the wavelength of the wave. The time taken to travel such distance is period. So, speed can be calculated by dividing wavelength by period. Speed is the reciprocal of frequency. Therefore, speed can be calculated by multiplying frequency by wavelength. By jerking the rope continuously up and down, waves are produced. Click on the vibrator to produce waves. Measure the wavelength and calculate the speed of the wave. The frequency of the wave is the same as the frequency of the vibrator, which is 50 hertz or 50 per second. The wavelength is 0 0.02 meters. Since the speed of the wave is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength, the speed of the wave is found to be 1 meter per second. Observe the wavelength lambda and the amplitude a as the frequency is increased. Click on the buttons to choose the frequency and wavelength.
If the speed of the wave is constant, what happens when the frequency of the wave is increased? At constant speed, when the frequency increases, the wavelength will decrease. Predict what will happen when the frequency is decreased. Observe what happens as sound waves propagate in an open-ended tube. Observe the wavelength lambda. If the speed of the wave is constant, what will happen if the frequency of the wave is decreased? At constant speed, when the frequency decreases, the wavelength will increase.